Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here and I wanted to make a quick video because I'm not sure if you guys have noticed but there was some feedback after the 7.4 dev live stream on the forums about a lot of the questions for PvP. I initially didn't want to do a video on the 7.4 live stream because and there wasn't really anything PvP wise announced there. So in the beginning I wanted to leave it at some memes over on Twitter. By the way, if you don't follow me on there, you definitely should. But seeing that the chat was, as always, full of PvPers spamming to bring back ranked and some other people asking about, you know, what will happen with PvP? Are they gonna address the issue of pre-mates versus solos? Yeah, and then last Saturday Jackie responded to that. So, as you know, on this channel I will not read the whole post to you. I'm pretty sure you guys can all read fine on your own. But I'll summarize basically what she's saying about PvP. So when it comes to the question of pre-mates versus solos, which basically is about matchmaking, the answer is here. Getting players into a match in a timely manner is going to be the highest priority when it comes to queuing for PvP, right? So that's really all you need to know, because that means they will not be banning pre-mates from queuing against solo players, there will not be any separate queues, at least not anytime soon, and the highest priority is getting people into the matches as soon as possible. And I think that's a little bit contradicting what they say in the next paragraph, which is basically reiterating how the matchmaking algorithm works at the moment. So meaning, yes, they are already trying to match premates versus other premates. So foreman premates versus another foreman premate if there are two of them in the queue. And that is happening. I mean, from my experience, I mostly play premate and sometimes solo. And whenever we queue as premate of four people, we will typically wait a longer time and then go up against other premates. There are, of course, exceptions. That's what they're basically saying. So there are all these rules here. For example, you cannot have more than two healers per team. And usually that is the case, but then sometimes if the matchmaking system cannot find any fair match according to these rules, then it will break them because the highest priority is to get players into the game, to get them a pop, make sure that they don't have to wait half an hour to play a 10 minute war zone. So in a nutshell, Broadsword is saying they will keep the queue as is and priority will be to get players into a match, whether they solo or in the pre-mate. And the issue is that there are not enough players to build fair matches quickly. So then the developer has to make a choice and the choice is either do I let the players wait in queue for 30 minutes or more until there is another pre-mate that they can get matched against or will I send the pre-mate into a match against solo players because simply there is no other pre-mate to match them against. And that is exactly the issue. Also, Broadsword has confirmed something that they, I think, alluded to already in the past, which is that every player playing PvP already has hidden MMR. So that's basically their, their matchmaking ranking, which then again means that kind of every game is rated right now, just that you don't see your rating, but it's happening somehow in the background. And they're not telling us any details on exactly how the system works. Some players have speculated that this might be related to your win rate. And again, we will not really know until Broadsword confirms how exactly this works. But from my experience, I definitely noticed a couple of things, which is that if you queue in a pre-mate, your queue times will be significantly longer. And that is, of course, the matchmaking algorithm trying to match you against another pre-mate. So that is working. But that being said, of course, the MMR is at best somewhat unreliable at building fair matches, right? And they're also saying it's a rough skill ranking. So let's be honest, if they're, for example, going by win rate, as you can see from our YouTube channel in most of the games that we play, we don't really try hard for the objectives. We are playing more for fun or for, let's say for damage farming, for example. And if that's the case, then my win rate right now is maybe 50, 60 percent. But let's say if we would actually try hard in a big premiere, then it would probably be more in the 80% ranking, right? So win rate or even like the, the difference between your wins and your losses is not really a good skill ranking if you ask me. But again, it's just speculation. We don't know how it really works. But I definitely have noticed that if I play on my mains where, you know, I have a couple of hundred of wins and a higher win rate, then the invites will take longer. And if I play on a fresh character where I maybe only have 10 or 20 wins, I will get pops almost immediately, especially when queuing solo. So that being said, I guess this is good news for the pre med enjoyers and not so great news for the solo players. So I guess Broadsword's position on PvP is kind of along the lines of take it as is, or you could say take it or leave it. So if you're still having fun with PvP in this game, then you can continue playing it. It does not sound like they're planning any major changes, like removing some of the social features, banning pre-mates. Unfortunately, it also doesn't look like they're going to bring back some form of ranked. And they have alluded to the possibility of balance changes, even though they didn't discuss it on stream. So if that happens, of course, you will hear about it on this channel as soon as any news drop. So in order to make sure that you don't miss that, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow.